Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. This is episode 187. Ah! 187. What? I'm trying to get to 200. Like, it feels like these last few are taking a while. But anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm doing a little something special, which I did last week, too. And I'm taking you behind the scenes of what it's like to work with me in the inner circle. So today, I have a very special guest you're going to meet in a moment. But listen, this is your first time watching. I want to welcome you to all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, as you come on, say hi. Don't be, don't be, don't be quiet. Listen, let me say something to y'all. This is this is to y'all. Um, this this message right here. Hey, Wendy, what's up, Wendy from the Cayman Islands? My special guest is waiting. But listen, this message is for you who has been watching me, not leaving comments, not hitting the like button, but you like it and you binging it. Do me a favor. Just click like sometimes, say hi so I can send you some love back and subscribe if you really enjoy this. It would really help me out, okay? Thank you. All right, so I am introducing today one of my lovely Inner Circle clients. Let me bring her on the screen. Hello, Farrah Lopez. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so Farrah, thank you for taking time to be with me today. I do appreciate it. I know you're a very, very busy lady. Um, but I'm really happy to have you here um, and getting to share some of your story because I know it will inspire many, many people who are listening. Um, so yes, <laughs> thank you, Wendy. She says you were so bright. Yes, got to bring the light. So I'm taking you behind the scenes of the inner circle. And before I do that, um, Farah, we've been working together now. Well, first of all, Farah and I know each other. We did Lion King together. Yes. In Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. That's how we heard mm -hmm. years ago. At Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay. <laughs> um, so before we get into our work and all that stuff, though, tell, if you can share with everyone watching. First of all, say hi to everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Tell everybody about just who you are and what you do and where you're, where you're based. Um, I'm Farrah Lopez. I'm based out of New York City. Um, I started as a theatrical musical theater actress and I've been making my transition over to film TV. And I knew that I wanted some help to kind of guide me through that process. And the best person I could think of was Christine since we already had a relationship and she's already slaying the game. So I was like, why not, <laughs> why not get under some tutelage? So um, I've been focusing on that um, and, and having a great time just learning how to just hone the skills I already have in a very cool and different way. So it's been fun. So how how is that? Let's talk about that because I have a lot of, um, I know I have a big audience of people who have a theater background. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us, if you have a, if you have a theater background, put theater in the comments. Wendy says, hi, Farah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> can you talk a little bit about um, that, tr that transition? Because th when did you decide like, okay, Theater was fun. You moved to New York. Um, where did you find that initial struggle? Like, mm. where did you find yourself before we started uh, work? Because we started working together for like six months in 2015, 2016. No, I'm lying. It's like 2017. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. But talk about what was going on at that point because. I was still, I was trying, trying to pull you along. And what was some of the stuff that you were struggling with mentally or just as far as the, the industry in general? Um, I had gotten really frustrated with the whole process of, of theater world. I, there was nothing that I was inspired by. I wasn't, it wasn't a show that I was like, oh, I really want to do that show. I kind of was like, do I really want to keep singing? Singing is something I enjoy, but it's not something I love. I love straight acting more. And I was like, okay, well, I wasn't booking anything also because I just wasn't, I didn't have any kind of motivation to even audition anymore. I was like, okay, I clearly don't love this as much anymore. What does inspire me? And there were a lot of TV shows subconsciously. I wasn't even aware at first. I was like, man, I really love that role. Oh, I could have definitely played that. Or, oh my God, I love that show. Oh, that acting is so brilliant. I was like, oh, okay, TV and film is what's really making me excited. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. How do I do that? And immediately, you know, your inner voice is like, girl, you 
can't do that. That's that's completely different. You can anybody relate to that? Can anybody <laughs> relate? Let Farrah know she's not alone. Say you're not alone if your inner critic has ever been like, nah, girls, have a seat, nah, boo. Um, yeah, stick with what you know. <laughs> that's what you got right. a degree in. Why are you trying to do know. something else? Everybody's ahead of you. It's too late for you to start oh. some brand new path. So you know, I had that kind of echoing in my brain. And even though I had the the wherewithal to go and reach out to Christina and be like, okay, I want to try this. The moment she was like, okay, well, this is what you have to do. I was like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yep. I'm not ready. <laughs> she's, she's telling the truth. <laughs> I was like, no. I was like, but you're paying me to do this. You're just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> I was like, yep, I see you. I hear you. Makes sense, <laughs> but absolutely not. <laughs> Wendy says, you're not alone. Thank you, Wendy. Listen, the inner critic is real. Like, And if you've been following me for a while, um, and if you've read my book that I have out playing small, you know I encourage you all to name your inner critic. As you should learn in my book, my name, her... My inner critic's name is Veronica, and I've gotten to know Farah's inner critic's inner critic's name, which is Jezebel. We call her Jezzy for short. Jezzy. And legit, sometimes in my line, I will like email not Farah. I mean, I have to email through Farah, but I'm really emailing Jezebel to let Jezebel know. No, ma'am. I talked about your story. Hey, Roxanne. Roxanne uh, Mim says you're not alone. Okay. Um, She's in Atlanta. I got to see her at Bronwyn's. Um, but that's really real. And yeah. because you had the talent to get into a, a Broadway show, you know, yeah. you had those skills. But it's interesting how that voice can try to convince you otherwise. Absolutely. And it's so, still there. You just have to get. Oh, oh. <laughs> it never goes away. Right. Permanently. Has a permanent seat. Yep. Permanent seat. <laughs> so let's talk about a bit about. Again, if you're just joining us, this is Actors Daily Bread. I'm Christine Horn. This is Farrah Lopez. Um, but and Farrah's in my inner circle. And this is like our third cycle getting ready to work with each other more. Talk about what the, what the change was to as you've been working, working this work. So we work together on self-tapes, mindsets, technical stuff. When branding. you have branding, marketing. Yeah. Before you have an audition, you send me your auditions to check. That's a huge, huge. How, how is that for you? Huge. Because that's something new I give Ooh. in my inner circle. Really? Because oh, yeah. okay. I was I. I think if of all the things, I mean, I know every everything that she's providing is great, but that gives me the confidence when I walk into a room. It, it eliminates my anxiety by almost like seventy five percent because. First of all, I've done it. So now I know I've already done it. So mm -hmm. I already know the lines. It's there. Two, <clears throat> a little bit of, of you know, it's a, a combination of compliment and like, here's some notes. Like, okay, this is really great. Here's what you need to change. Or here's a minor adjustment. And it also expands the way that I approach characters for mm -hmm. the next time. So it's like a lesson as well. So it, it's, it's kind of just a combo meal of awesome. <laughs> Um, and then I walk into the room. Exactly. I walk into the room and it's like, okay, I've already done this and I've done it for my, uh, my own critic, my, my coach. So you guys are like nothing. So it's like, by the time I do it in front of them, it's, it's almost super, super comfortable as opposed to just going in there cold. I right. That makes sense. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense. And what was it recently in the past couple of months, how many callbacks? I want to go with three. three. Callbacks. For Law and Order, SVU, Madam Law Secretary. Law and Order, Madam Secretary, and um, now I have this. Uh, this it's an untitled situation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm. I and thank you for sharing that because I. That's one of my favorite parts is to. I just went on Instagram Live earlier before we hopped on tonight today, Farah, and I was just telling people like my my gift, and I'm gonna say this confidently, is to put my finger. Where's the camera? On your ism on the thing that, oh, just fix that, bam. Yeah. Or I don't believe that. Or yeah. are you connected? Or did you really go there? Like, <laughs> um, I'm laughing at myself because I can be a, a little direct with people. Just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> so can <She's> you <laughs> Shakir, what's up, Shakir? What's up, Felisa? I see you. What's, what's up? up? 
<laughs> What's up, Eddie? Lisa says boss. Okay. Um, let's talk about that because okay. we're joking and and Farrah jokes that I'm a little harder on her than I am some of my other inner circle clients. And that's actually not true. My approach to each of you, each everybody who works with me is different based on their personality types and what they requested of me in the beginning. So see, sometimes people get on the phone with me for consults and they fill out an application because inner circles by application only. I want to see your thorough thoughts, what you're feeling. But I keep that as word is bond. And I'd be like, you said... <laughs> That's you true. want me to blank, right? That's true. But, but can you talk a bit about the, I guess, taking taking criticism, internalizing it, if someone's not used to that? I mean, you've grown up in this industry, um, but how yeah. any tips work. that Roxanne says direct is good. I try, but you know. Direct is good, but direct is, is hard to hear, you know, but I think. The reason why I didn't even utilize that part of this whole package for a while because of fear. And mm -hmm. um, I was just, a, you you still have that fear of, oh, she's going to judge me. She's going to think I'm terrible. She's going to think I suck. or And so <clears throat> battling that, I just said, how am I going to get better? And, and I'm paying all this money. So girl, utilize <laughs> all of the tools. So, you know, it was just one of those like, okay, I'm not getting... I know that I have much more to learn. So why not suck it all in as much as possible? Sugar coating, sh does sugar coating help? No. For me, everyone's different. But for me, I need somebody that's going to give me the truth, whether it's positive or negative. Mm -hmm. You know, be like, like, that was really great work. Thank you. I'll know that it's, I'll know that it's not sugar coating, it's real, because it's also followed by a note. Or I know that on another occasion, she'll be like, lock it up get it done and it's very direct so i know that it's always coming from a very direct place yeah <laughs> so it's never like i never have to wonder like hmm, i wonder if she's saying that just to be nice yeah, oh, yeah. you're never gonna no. get that from christine <laughs> no no not it's at all based on somewhere else I'm going to give a shout out to Janelle Simone uh, one of our new inner circle members um and today she got her first round of feedback from me oh so. awesome congratulations <laughs> so <Welcome. Saturday. laughs> Let's, I'm not going to keep you too long because I know you got things to do, but I want to talk about, we talked about the, bef the before, we talked about what it's like, it's been like in this messy, uncomfortable middle, share some of your wins. And I know you can be hard on yourself and sometimes I'm, I'm yelling from the rooftop for you louder than you are, but you have accomplished something that I think is really freaking awesome. Some things that you have on the horizon, please share with everyone what those are. Sure. Okay. Well. Say it with full confidence too. With I full will. Confidence. <laughs> I will. The first, the first round, the first come round, Christine has, and she always stresses this about you know creating your own content and putting yourself out there and being apologetic, unapologetic about your art and not waiting for permission to do so. She preaches that all the time. And for a while, she tried to get me to come up with a show, and I just would not do it. I was terrified. I was like, who's going to care? Who's going to watch? Like, it's, it's dumb. It's a dumb idea. Um, and then this time around, she's like, all right, so back to the same thing I told you to do a year ago. <laughs> Time to create some content. <laughs> so I sat down and I actually applied myself and created my first web series via IGTV and YouTube called Farrah's Morning Dump comedy show. Um, and it just talks about men dating living in new york soon it'll be about real estate different things hot topics so it, it's a place for me to kind of stretch my comedic chops play around things get feedback mm -hmm. build an audience yeah. you know let casting and other people see what i do the, the my range you know different colors of farah as part of my branding. So I'm very excited about that. Yes. I'm working on another web series, a much bigger one now that, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm now. Oh. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> doing that. I'm um, creating a monster. <laughs> I'm creating, you've created a monster. <laughs> and it's helping, it's helping. I've gotten so many more auditions, not, not just because of that, obviously, with all, all the work that I'm doing, but it's giving me more confidence and that's, that's priceless, you know? 
Yes, I'm just putting here on the screen in case any of you missed it. It's kind of small there. Um, it's called Farah's Morning Dump. Let me see if I can make that bigger. There it is, Farah's Morning Dump. That is her new web series. How many episodes are out now? How many, like Six. five, four, Six? Six. I'm behind. Ugh. Okay, so it's on Instagram. You can watch it on IGTV and on YouTube. And in the link below, I have her handle so you can follow her. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, I'm, I'm so, I'm gonna publicly say this. I am so proud of you. And I that resistance is real. Guys, in the comments, whether you're watching this live or in the replay, um, just know if you're, not if, when you deal with resistance, because at some point it will come up, especially when it's a really good idea, something, when you're creating your own work, it is the most vulnerable place to be yes. because it's no longer, oh, I'm hiding behind this script that was given to me. It may be bad, I didn't write it, you know, like I'm just an actor. Right. But when you take the reins and, and are the creator, the producer, the director, the you know, it's it's like the, I always talk about the white meat. It is just you showing the, your white meat to the world and just like, oh God, right? Yep. But it's like everybody, you can't please everybody. Nope. Period. And we all have opinions and that's great. This is the same reason why we have, you know, we can have 50 cable channels and don't want to watch over half of it because that's not our, that's not our vibe. And that's fine. Right. Jakir says, that's what's up. That's what's up, Jakir. Hey, it is. Jakir. That's what's up. So I really am proud of you for just pushing through the resistance, pushing through your inner critic's uh, loud voice, mm -hmm. um, and still doing it. For anyone at home, we're gonna wrap and listen. If you're just joining, I've been. This has been an inside scoop behind the scenes of what it's like to work with me in the inner circle, and. I love, I invited Farah specifically because I knew she dealt with so much resistance in the beginning, mm -hmm. fear, uncertainty, but just baby steps. Well, another baby step. Okay, another baby step. And yeah. now there's, I just I just can see the growth and I, I hope you can too for yourself. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I'm very before, excited. Before we wrap, I always have people, for the actor at home, mm -hmm no matter, you know, young or old, somewhere in between, who is feeling some of the things you felt, frustrated, it's too late, why even bother, who's gonna care, maybe I'm not good enough, maybe I'm not worthy enough, mm -hmm. I haven't booked anything in six months, maybe I should just quit. What piece of encouragement, what encouraging word can you leave with them today? I would say, I don't wanna say just never give up because you're gonna want to. It, the, the power behind the dream is what will push you past that. Is it If it's something that you wake up in the morning and still think about, go to sleep, still think about, watch a TV show and think about it. If it's something that is that is stuck with you, that means you were born to do it. That means you were placed on this earth to do that. So chase it because the moment that you allow the universe, you say yes to the universe, doors just start to line up. Things just find, they're like, oh, finally, you're ready? Cool, here you go. And stuff just starts to open. Things you didn't even expect, things that, situations that you were like, what? A year ago, I never would have thought I'd be getting callbacks for things like this, you know? And it's because I'm saying yes to myself, yes to the dream, even though the resounding no keeps coming. You're like, no, yes, and make that one little step, one step. The universe sees it as much bigger than you even know. It just ripples that makes sense it does make sense for someone at home who's been watching me silently <laughs> and they're like on the fence about this inner circle thing and oh that's a lot of investment i don't know, I don't know. what would you say to them um i would say you put your money where your heart is and um you invest in the things that you want because i bet if you look at your bank statements, you're spending the same amount on Starbucks, on shoes, on whatever. So you're telling yourself that those things are more important than your dream, are more important than what you want, fundamentally. So I would say, think about what's important. Think about five years from now. You know, Are those things that you're collecting gonna matter or investing in yourself going to really matter? So yes, it's a price tag, but how much is your dream worth? 
People who pay, pay attention. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Sarah, I know we can talk forever and um, we'll talk Friday or Thursday whenever our next session is. Thank you for being here. Everyone, please send Farrah some love. Follow her at Farrah's Morning Dump. That's her show, Farrah For Real on Instagram. She's very active on Instagram. Come through. Um, and yes, and she's, hey guys, she's looking for a manager. So if you know a manager, especially in the New York market, she is looking. Share this video. Farrah, thank you so much. Hang tight before, Farrah, you hang tight after we end so I can yeah. say goodbye to you. Everyone else, if you miss any part of this, watch the replay. Bye. Bye.